Christian View, where we are discussing double-minded men and reaping and sowing. But this segment, Trudy Simmons, we're going to talk about what the Bible means when he says, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Does this mean because they did not think it worthwhile to acknowledge God, God delivered them over to a worthless mind to do all of that which is morally wrong? I think so. And if we go back to what, a, what, a, what this means, it's a deprived, undisciplined, or a wicked person. Someone rejected by God and almost beyond hope of salvation. That's, so what, he that's let the us, question right there. Are they beyond, once he turns them over to that reprobate mind, do they have any chance of salvation? Is there any going back to Holy Ghost conviction and them repenting? I mean, or I, do they never even, are they ever even convicted again? And he's well, not going to spend could, any more time. Well, on the them, Bible talks run. about about being cast and past feeling, mm -hmm. and I, I I think that there is a not. It's not Sounds God like who God says. Sounds like God giving up on them. Right. Yeah, but it's not mm -hmm. that, that God has says that you can't get saved. It's right. the fact that you've gone so far that you don't even want to acknowledge the things of God. Yeah. And so. So how are you going to get saved like that? That's well, right. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You, it, well, it, it's, it's, it's like not the God saying that. Yeah, it's not God saying that you you can't get saved. It's the fact that you decide within yourself that you don't want to even head towards the things of God right, at all. Right. Mm -hmm. But there's always well, that's a choice. That's still a choice. God, but God well, there's always there's hope. Always. Right. Yes. Think about the thief on the cross yes. in the very last right. seconds right. of his exactly. life. Right. The well, see, but you, have, you have both of those at the same time. You have a, a, a thief on the left, a thief on the right. Mm -hmm. And so one, one chose. Let, continued with his reprobate mind and yeah. the other one repented. Yeah. Well, whether well, there's hope, but it's still a choice on, right. on, on our it. part. Well, the scripture says he gave them over, you know, to do the things that are inconvenient. Convenient. To me, it means that God gave them over to bear the um, fullest extent of their sin, the mm -hmm. fruit of their sins, yes. allow them, you know, their mind, that's the way they choose to go. So, you know, the Spirit tells us, except He draws us, we can't even come. That's right. That so, right. We talked about that's the right. prodigal son. son. Right. Yes. The prodigal yes. son. Yes. I mean, the father mm -hmm. gave him over to do what he wanted to do, to spend all of his money. But then the, the prodigal son realized, wait a he minute, came he came to he himself. Came to himself. So I think we still have time yes. while yes. there's breath in to us make a choice. to come yeah. to ourselves. But I'm thinking mm -hmm. about, and that's all well, but I'm thinking mm -hmm. about these people standing in their pew on Sunday right. morning with their head mm -hmm. bowed and eyes closed, okay? <laughs> and the preacher's saying, is there anyone here today who has never accepted Christ as their savior? And they know they haven't, okay? They know they haven't. And they're holding onto that bench so tight because they're under so much <laughs> conviction and they're, and they're hanging on. But they don't dare they step make, out. Make they don't. Yes. All right. So then, a couple of weeks later, they come back again. Bow your heads. Close your eyes. <laughs> and they're holding on, and they never go. At some point, it's almost like God gives up and just stops convicting them. Well, you know, but think about think about the fact that that Moses had to say to God, "No, mm -hmm. you can't do that," because mm -hmm. yeah. he repented that he had made man. That's yes. a, that's an awesome yeah. thing to think about. Yeah. And so when when you, when you're on this side and, and he's done everything to the point of coming and dying on the cross, right? We have to accept the fact that the Bible says that it's out of his kingdom that he's going to come and separate. We're not even talking about the world. Right. And so in the church itself, when Jesus comes back, he's not coming to the world to judge. He's going to come to this church right. and separating those who are just occupying space. Uh -oh. The scriptures do say mm -hmm. God will not strive with you always. Yes. always. He's, right. he's going after us with all he's got. Mm -hmm. It's just like a loving parent. You think about a reprobate mind. Now I've stood by the bed of parents who have had a child on life support. They're saying to the parent there's no brain activity. There's there's no functioning of the brain. And I see the agony on that parent's right. face. Okay, well that parent could not love that child more than God. Right. That's loves right. that child or more That's than right. God loves us. Right. And when, when we're talking about a reprobate mind, think about the, lo the loving heart of yes. God, right. that it grieves him because he created yes, that mind. Right. He created, just like I believe God loved Hitler. I believe yes. God right. loved Kim, well, look about whatever, right. the right. Korean Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. I, I believe that he loves everyone. Sure he does. Yes. But he's not going to strive with us right. always. Yeah. And if a and person he, continues mm -hmm. to choose evil, then their mind because has become God's clouded right. with doubt. And the thing about it is, is, is what we have to realize is because God is so loving, you know, it's not, he doesn't just say, okay, you keep doing that and I'm just going to turn my back. He sends us all kinds of signs. Sure and he does. One, uh, warnings, you know, to let us know that 
that we're going on the right yeah. track. Okay. But then when we continue to ignore the signs, when we yeah. continue to just ignore his voice or his wisdom or people he send our way to tell us, stop, don't go in that right. way, right. Yeah. then he says, I take my hands off because you have made up your mind. And because, the most well, powerful thing that God has given man is the power to choose right. his and, will. And, the th and that's the thing, because God is love, yes. that means that even when he gives you over, it's because of love that he gives right. you over. Because yes. what happens is that God has already determined that since since kindness and goodness doesn't change you, then I'm going to let Satan change you. Mm -hmm. But if Satan doesn't change you, then you're not changed, period. Mm -hmm. if, if you're either going to run because of, of, of you being wooed or you're going to run because you're running out of, out of the hellfire. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line, if nothing makes you, you run, run right. it's, it's still God that allows you to have to see the hellfire for you right. to run. Yes. And that's love. Mm -hmm. But yes, we don't, we don't think of it that yes. way. No. I think we all know people in our life who have hardened hearts. Mm -hmm. oh and we gosh, try yes. and try. And I think that's a picture of God. He tries and we try and try to reach those people who are lost and who have just shut down, whether yes. they're offended mm -hmm. by God or yes. just bitterness. And we, we try. But for me, I'm like, they still have their deathbed. And I'm like, right. Lord, if you can reach them on their deathbed, right. you know, reach them on their deathbed in the right. midst of between here and heaven. But it's, it's so hard to get through to that hardened heart. It's just... It's, you know, it's I, heartbreaking. I, I, I had I had a, a manager a while ago um, when I, when I was in you know the secular aspect of things and I had gotten born again, really given my life to the Lord. And one day I was at his door and and God asked me, "What would you do if He asked you, what do I feel? What do you believe about homosexuality?" And so. I'm, answer, I'm letting God tell me, and I tell you, the guy gets there, the first thing he asks me, what do you think about this? Mm -hmm. And so God had already prepared me, so I give him, and I speak to him the, the love of God and, and all these other things, and we go on into our, uh, uh, a continued relationship. But one day, uh, I mean, way beyond that time, he ends up dying of AIDS, or he's dying of AIDS. Mm -hmm. And God gave me the opportunity to go to his b That's bedside good. and to minister to him and nice. to speak to him. But he had gotten so hard oh, and yes. so hateful of God. He, right. uh, he told me, I hate Jesus. I, oh. and, 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 and his dying breath, and he's gasping. Yes. And in his gasp, he's still saying, I hate God. Oh. Wow. And there's nothing you can do at that point. And there's nothing there's you can do nothing. about you know, that. Paul said that our mind, our natural mind, is at enmity with yes. God. Yes. We're born that way. Yes. And that's why we have to, going back to Romans 12 and 2, being mm -hmm. renewed in our mind. Our spirit is born again. The minute we we give our life to Jesus Christ, but then our mind has to be renewed, yeah, or otherwise we're just open to deception. I think the hardest deception. people to reach, Cameron, are those who go down and just repeat a prayer and don't repent of their sins and don't turn, and, and they're convinced they're saved. Correct. And then you've got to try and convince them, no, you're not. Well, that's, that's the spirit of religion. Yeah. That's, that's religion that's right there. That's where it's at. Yeah. Stay with us. We'll be right back. I think those are the hardest ones. Thank you so much for joining us today and watching The Christian View. And just, just remember, you will only receive real peace when your heart and your mind are under God's control. We'll see you next time on The Christian View.